Understanding Market Orders, a Comprehensive Guide What is a market order? A market order is a basic yet crucial trading mechanism in financial markets, instructing a broker to buy or sell financial assets, such as stocks, bonds, or commodities, at the best available price in the current market. It is the default option for many investors, often favored for its straightforward nature. Market orders are particularly favorable for large-cap stocks or highly liquid securities like exchange-traded funds ETFs. In such cases, investors can expect their trades to be executed nearly instantaneously with minimal price deviation from what is displayed on their trading platforms. Types of Orders While market orders are prevalent, they are not the only option available to investors. The primary alternative is the limit order, which instructs brokers to buy or sell assets at a specified price or better. Understanding the contrasts between these two order types allows investors to make informed decisions based on their specific trading strategies. Market order executes immediately at the current market price. Limit order executes only when the asset reaches a specified price. When to use a market order Market orders are best utilized when the investor aims for quick execution, particularly in the following circumstances. Buying or selling large-cap stocks where liquidity is high, allowing for instant execution. Engaging in trades with futures or ETFs, which also exhibit high trading volumes, leading to minimal impact from price fluctuations. These orders enable traders to complete transactions almost instantly and with fewer execution risks, making them a preferred choice for casual investors or those who prioritize speed in their trading activities. Advantages of Market Orders 1. Speed of Execution Market orders are designed for immediate execution, ensuring that trades are completed swiftly. 2. Simplicity They are the most basic and straightforward form of trading, suitable for investors who wish to enter the market without complicated strategies. 3. Cost Efficiency Generally, executing a market order incurs lower transaction fees compared to limit orders, as many brokerage firms charge additional fees for limit transactions. Risks Associated with Market Orders While market orders are typically safe when trading highly liquid securities, they carry certain risks, particularly with less liquid assets. Price slippage, market orders can result in unexpected or unfavorable execution prices, especially if the stock is thinly traded. For example, if a trader places a market order during times of volatility, they might buy or sell at a price significantly different from the last quoted price. Wider bid-ask spreads, in cases of illiquid stocks, the difference between the buying price, bid, and selling price, ask, may be substantial, leading to higher costs for the trader. Market Order versus Limit Order Understanding the distinction between market orders and limit orders is essential for effective trading. Market order, guarantees the execution of the order but not the execution price, which may vary. Limit order, guarantees the price but not the execution. The order only fills if the asset reaches the specified price. Choosing between these two depends on a trader's objectives. For example, market orders, suitable for investors seeking immediate transactions, particularly for trading highly liquid stocks. Limit orders, appropriate for those unwilling to accept market prices for thinly traded securities or anyone aiming to time the market carefully. Special considerations when placing a market order. When executing a market order, consider these factors to avoid underperforming trades. Bid-ask spread, always evaluate the bid-ask spread before placing a market order to confirm whether the potential price impact is acceptable. Market conditions, market volatility can significantly affect execution prices. During tumultuous trading periods, be prepared for potentially larger discrepancies in the expected and actual execution price. Example of a market order. To further illustrate, consider a stock with the following bid-ask prices. Bid, $18.50. Ask, $20. If an investor places a market order to buy 500 shares, the first segment of the order, 
100 shares, will execute at the ask price of $20. However, if the next available shares are at $22, the remaining 400 shares will fill at that higher price, demonstrating the risk of price slippage associated with market orders. Frequently Asked Questions, FAQs What does market order mean? A market order directs a broker to purchase or sell shares of an asset at the prevailing market price. It is the simplest and most common method of trading in securities. How does a market order work? A market order is executed at the best price available in the market at the moment of the order, ensuring swift execution without negotiation. What is the difference between a market order and a limit order? A market order guarantees a swift execution but not the price, while a limit order guarantees a price but does not ensure execution unless the price conditions are met. What is a batch order versus a market order? A batch order groups of multiple market orders for execution together as one transaction to optimize processing speeds and reduce costs. This type of order is only permitted at the market opening. Conclusion Understanding market orders is vital for any investor engaging in stock trading. While they provide quick and efficient execution in liquid markets, awareness of potential risks and consideration of alternative order types, like limit orders, can enhance an investor's strategy and mitigate financial pitfalls.